So you are Chewbacca in the newest Star Wars film, Solo. Did you freak out when you got the phone call when they were like, hey, guess what? You're yeah. in. I mean, I got the phone call before Force Awakens because mm -hmm. that's what, that was my uh, first introduction to the character. But yes, I freaked out. It was uh, uh, everything I, I wanted, secretly wanted. I didn't yeah. know I wanted it at the <laughs> time, you know? It came true and uh, yeah, five months of auditioning and it was, a, it was a, a big thing for me and it still is. I can't believe it that I'm here. So I've heard for Star Wars sets versus like a lot of green screens and everything being, you know, digitally done, a lot of this stuff is built out. And like with the Millennium Falcon, they actually hung it in the air and you guys had digital screens at the front of the ship when you were shooting. Was that just like mind blowing walking onto a set and being a part of that? Yes, because it's it's everything is is there. The production goes practical whenever we can. And it's it's wonderful to, mm -hmm. to have that because you can sort of react and look at things and interact with them unlike anything else. So it's completely real. Especially Millennium Falcon is, mm -hmm. is a really um, interesting, you know, hunk of junk. Because it's so, <laughs> <laughs> in this film, it's cleaner and more, more luxurious than mm -hmm. it's ever been. And that, that was fun to, to experience. Did you guys kind of melt into like little kids when you first walk on the ship? You're like, oh my gosh, we're on the Millennium oh, yeah. Falcon. I, and I, it's in the I air. did, yeah. <laughs> well, the first time I walked into the ship, uh, Harrison Ford uh, walked behind me, and it was really intimidating oh to gosh. be there. But yeah, Alden, who plays Han Solo in this film, did a great job in just uh, embodying those legendary shoes and being that character and just uh, owning it uh, yeah. in, his, uh, in his own way, as actor should do when he's performing. And uh, he really nailed the role, in my opinion. Your bond with him, Chewie and Han, in this film is, I mean, it's the core of what makes this film so much fun. It's yeah. so great. Yeah. Was that something that the two of you spent a lot of time on, working through, figuring out? Yeah, yeah, we talked about the, the fact that the arc of their friendship and, and how to bring it on each scene. And it was very, Alden is a really good collaborator and he came prepared. He had done a, a lot of uh, research for this role and uh, I think it shows. So I watched the film and I absolutely loved it. But something that I thought was so cool is that this is just the epitome of a fun summer blockbuster. Exactly. And you, you don't really have to be a Star Wars fan to see it and to love it. Exactly. You know, why do you think that is? Like, what do you think yeah. makes this film so much fun? Because it's so universal, you know, it, it's a story about the human condition and how the world keeps telling us, pulling us one way and while well, we want to go the other way. And it's about that conflict in, yeah. in, at its core. And uh, it involves some pretty cool, interesting characters, which we know already. So yeah, there's, and, and if we didn't know them, uh, you'll get to meet them in this one. It's a great introduction to, to a lot of things Star Wars uh, for, for a lot of people, I think. I also heard that whenever you first started out, you had kind of a Wookiee boot camp with mm. Peter Mayhew. Yes. So I was wondering if you could give us a little mini boot camp on how to speak Wookiee. Like if I right. wanted to say, go see Solo at Studio Movie Grill in Wookiee, right. how would I do that? You would, uh, you would relax your, your, your mouth okay. and then nail the pitch. <laughs> Yeah, that and then, <laughs> yeah, and that's kind of it. And as you okay. get better, you get more stronger in it. And then you do a tongue trill by okay. pressing your tongue against the roof of your mouth okay. and, and blowing air through it, rolling R. Okay. <laughs> 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 we'll get back to it. It was great. Yeah, that was wonderful. <laughs> that's the first day. Okay, how would I say go see Solo at Studio Movie Girl and Wookie? So out of out of everything we've talked about and everything that you know people have told you with Solo and like what it's meant to them, why should people go see this movie in theaters? As a, humans, we crave good stories, and this one is especially fun, engaging, a spontaneous adventure film where you can just forget the forget the troubles of your of your day and uh, just uh, get lost in a galaxy far far away